Thank you for staying with us here at 530. I'm Doug Prophet. Since this is August and it is the return to school month, we are now checking out the plans of school districts all around our area as they're preparing to head back to school this fall. Today, Rose McBride is in Grayson County to see how schools are preparing for the year. Grayson County schools have a plan in place for back to school, but with changing COVID-19 numbers, Superintendent Doug Robinson says that back to school plan can change too. Things could change on a dime, and I know everybody's, that's a kind of a cliche statement that everybody's been using this summer. The Grayson County School District has spent the summer trying to think of every possible situation that could arise when kids head back to school. Even though we have, we've sat down and we've tried to analyze and think through of all the different scenarios, I'm sure there'll be something that'll happen the first couple days like, well, you know, we didn't think about that. Grayson County Schools will ease students who chose the in-person option back into the classroom. For the first three weeks of school, students in all grade levels will be on a hybrid schedule. One group of kids will go to class on Mondays and Wednesdays and the other on Tuesdays and Thursdays. The district will use Friday as a day to reevaluate how the plan is going. It kind of helps the students get into routines. When they aren't in school, students will do project based learning and classwork remotely. 24% of students and parents have chosen the district's fully virtual option. Superintendent Robinson and his team have been working hard to give families options and make sure each option is going to keep kids safe and give them the best possible learning experience. I feel good about the plan that we have in place and uh, the preparation that we've put in and the thought and the detail. In Grayson County, Rose McBride, WHS 11 News.